So, good evening everybody. This is my official second live stream. We had a slight problem earlier, so I had to cancel and start again. The chat room wasn't connecting, but it's connected now. So this is Silver. This came out on the PC, Mac OS, or OS X as it would have been known back then, and for the Sega Dreamcast back in 1999. This, as you'll see, is a very fun RPG. Fantastic orchestral soundtrack. Really nice storyline. So we're going to play this for about an hour and have a chat while I do it. So enjoy. I'll let you just take in some of this atmospheric ambiance for a moment before I keep talking. Are you scared yet? This bit always reminds me of the Ghostbusters film. The only downside with 1999, although we had full motion video, the compression is brutal. It's very blocky. Very blocky indeed. And those hands As just made me think of VR it, now. Each lifetime harvests the forces of good and evil inherent in human nature. But nature is volatile. This book chronicles an age when the natural balance was disrupted, when men bowed down to oblivion and a terrifying evil was unleashed. Elders who sought to protect the innocent hid the book. So for a hundred decades, these chapters have remained dormant. But the story has to be told. And even now, as the first page turns, the cancer spreads once more. The light succumbed first, as darkness cloaked the distinctive figure of a twisted man. Souls that were not seduced by his power were bridled with pain until their spirits broke. His warped body was a testament to the pain that he consumed. Even his blood curdled as it seeped through his hollow veins, keeping his vacuous heart pumping. But its beat remained strong and constant even as his hands tightened round his wife's neck slowly he squeezed the life from her fragile body she had dared to crave intimacy and after years of chilling indifference she'd finally turned to one she thought could save her nemesis had been her husband's loathed enemy they became lovers tragically silver witnessed their infidelity sealing both their fates Silver had savoured his wife's pain, knowing that Nemesis would be compelled to exact revenge. He was not disappointed. Nemesis saturated his soul with vengeance and planned Silver's demise. But it That's was a fantastic Hunter, voice for a narrator. ...who finally offered Nemesis ultimate retribution. 
He created and if you think the stream stuttering, it's not. It's actually picture. this video. Why I have no idea. Life. His rival's vanity assured his attendance at the opening. Reuben soiled each it's canvas a bit about the video until he required only one So this is the PC version from GOG? So I do have the original somewhere, Nemesis. but this I downloaded for ridiculous small amounts of pennies. But this version actually works. Might be a bit more complicated to get the original to work. Gog's done the work for me. I also forgot how long this introduction was. Oh dear. Well, there you go. Definitely strangling. And the sound's out of sync as well. That is disappointing. For those interested, next weekend I plan to be taking a look at something like Doom. And the music will actually be played, and when I say Doom, I mean the original Doom. And the music will be played through an actual Roland Sound Canvas SC55 Mark II, which is uh, the MIDI device the original composer intended it for. So that should be nice. There we go. Be silent, below Fuse! So you can see it's pre-rendered backdrops. It is decreed that all women of childbearing age will be taken before the Emperor's silver, so that he may choose a new wife. Any man or woman found impeding this order will be charged with treason and sentenced to immediate execution. And kind of polygonal characters? Use your power. This is a violation of our rights. What rights? You belong to the Emperor. He will do as he pleases. Guards, seize the women. No! Not her! Be patient, William. The swords in this game are... I trust no one Quite has a problem large? because I've I think it's fair to say. whining long enough. Guards, you have your orders. Move the women to the galleon now. You can tell Fuge's serious. He has two of them, the and the blue, and ensure that no one attempts to evade their duty. Thank you, Tiffany. Oh, that music. You're late. We need to practice. You need to practice. Are you in such a hurry to be beaten, Grandfather? Yes. I feel this is slightly I'm buggy. Disappointed. <laughs> but at least my student has confidence. Now, they appear to be the talking to each other, blade. but facing in opposite Amaze directions. Me with your swordsmanship. Maybe they're just practicing two meter social distancing? I don't know. I'm sure maybe he's supposed to be there. But never mind. Let's uh, go inside. Oh, I didn't hear you get up. I wanted to practice with Grandfather. But you look so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Have you eaten? You'll need to keep healthy to have any chance of beating him. I will. So, let's grab an apple. Da, 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 da. Ah, yes. Every house should have a treasure chest. With a sword that's longer than the chest. 
and a wooden shield. Let's go back outside. We're wasting time. Where's your sword? Hurry up, lad. Get your sword. Right. Bossy. Ah, there we go. Now we can begin. Hold your sword ready and never take your eyes off your opponent. We'll start with some basic moves that will ease you into combat. Now you try. Whilst holding down the control key, click the left mouse button once in the direction you'd like to attack. The hero will then turn to the specified area and perform the assault. Good. I see I'll have to provide you with more of a challenge. Well, I hope so. Next, we should try the lunge. When performed well, this move is deadly. Whilst holding down the control key, I see a bit of a pattern here, click and hold the left mouse button, then sharply move the cursor upwards in a vertical motion. Uh, Good! Go. A powerful movement. So Learn far, so quickly. good. Now, a swipe requires a little more skill than a lunge, but less accuracy. It's probably been over Stand ten years since I last and played in one this. Swift move, swipe hard to your right, like this. Still such a great game. Whilst holding down the control key, click and hold the left mouse button, then sharply move the cursor to the right in a horizontal motion. Very elegant. I hope your opponents appreciate such artistry. They'll have no choice. It'll be the last thing they ever see. Always consider your assailant's position. This will help determine whether you perform the right swipe or readjust your stance and swipe left. Ooh. Somehow I've liked the stream. I'm not even sure how I did that. <laughs> Whilst holding down the control key, click and hold the left mouse button, then sharply move the cursor to the left. Good. Now we'll try a different approach. One-on-one -on -one combat is rare. It's more likely that you'll face several assailants at any one time. So you have to be prepared for anything. And this move is vital. And a shout out to Very Tiffany. Few of your opponents will have any pride. And would rather leap at you from behind. She says I'm very handsome. Directly. She may be biased. Learn this move well. Whilst holding down the control key, click and hold the left mouse button. Then sharply move the cursor downwards. Good. Your offensive training is complete. Now you must learn to defend yourself. Your shield is invaluable when countering attacks. Use it well. Whilst holding down the control key, click and hold the right mouse button to shield the oncoming attack. You defend yourself well. Your training is complete. Get ready to fight and show me just how good I am. I don't believe I'm prepared for war just after that. Here we go. Here's where I am. I haven't warmed up yet. You're young. It just takes me a little longer to get going. Then I'll leave you be. Besides, I have the washing to do. Ominous music. Fuge. Tell me, are you still your father's lapdog? Don't you ever learn? I should have dealt with you years ago. You're fortunate that I have more important matters to deal with. Your Emperor Silver requires a new wife. He may even choose this delicate creature. And then again, if my father isn't interested, I may take her for myself. I would kill you first. Steady, lad. Listen to the old man. Your wife is such beauty. 
that he's only just learned to fight and he's already getting quite cocky. Take her away. The young petulance these days. I love you, David. How touching. Women are far too weak. Then the men who prey on them must be cowards. Why are you in such a hurry to die? Guards, stay here and see that they get their wish. There we go. The first official battle. They're over here. Oh, they've dropped an apple. How convenient. Right. Just run and try and catch up. Come on, Grand Dad, kick his ass. Oh, now what we got? Gold? And another wooden shield. If I remember correctly, they break. The wooden! There they are. Come on, after them. I think if you buy this from GOG, you can actually get the soundtrack as well. You can see why you would want to. I don't think I need to worry about defensive strategy at the minute. These are quite tame. Too late. This time, but we will get her back. Please, they've taken our daughter. You have to help us. We're old and can offer you little, but don't worry. We'll help you all we can. Did you see or hear anything that may be useful? Do you know where they're headed? All the women were forced in the galleon. Fuse and some of his guards got into a smaller vessel. And both ships sailed off in different directions. Unfortunately, I don't know where either one is bound, sorry. Where are all the villagers? Or all the angry husbands? Some Hello, of Sylvia. Have already banded together. Nice to see you. Hope they you keep took him their well. weapons and left in the direction of Haven. Will she be alright? They won't hurt her, will they? She's all we've got. I couldn't cope if they... <laughs> I think she's upset. She'll be alright. Come on. I'll take care. Oh, it's some beautiful details. So, back in 1999, we couldn't have 3D backgrounds very often, certainly not of this detail, so it was tended to be for the 3D, but pre-rendered, so it wasn't much strain on the GPU. But we have got some additional touches layered on to make it feel more interactive, more alive. So we have little smoke coming out of the chimney, birds flying around. And we've got these two little characters practicing their catapults into the water. Little boat bobbing up and down. Very nice. Okay, off we go. So if I remember what he says. I am the Chronicler. 
tell me of your deeds, so I may write them in my book. It's something like that. But it has variations, so it may not be quite the same. Here we go. I am the Chronicler. I shall record your adventures in my book of legends. Tell me of your deeds. Okay, that wasn't too far off. Not bad for over ten years. So that's a good way to save the game. And more enemies. Here we go. So convenient to drop food. Oh, what's this one here? Health potion. So, I'm right clicking to see this menu. Uh, I guess it's going to be. Okay, we've got keys and stuff in there. Ooh, okay. More details. Uh, ah, food. Let's have an apple. Let's go through the castle. I think this is the right way. It's been a while. The health looks better now. It reminds me very much of Final Fantasy VII with the pre-rendered backgrounds and the different distances you see on the characters. It's not a bad comparison though, is it? Final Fantasy VII, I think, for most people is a gem. Package of crisps would have been nice. I guess we went for the more healthy option. I can actually talk to somebody. Let's have a quick chat. Please, I have eight children to support and very little money. But I'm a proud man, and my only request is that you look at me goods. Well, that's not nothing to every day. We've got to, haven't we? We've got to. What do I require? Ooh, it's, again, quite healthy. Let's have some bread. You've got taste. See you again. <laughs> I forgot the voice acting is quite comical. Run a clue again. Tell me of your deeds, adventurer, so that I may record them in my book of legends. Haven's Gates. They were built by an ancient race to protect their city from evil. Legends say only the pure of heart may enter. Well, there's only one way to find out if that's true. Come on, lad. If a very never old man ending like story me can get through, you'll have no problem. But what if my hatred for silver betrays me? David, he's taken your wife. Your anger is justified. I hope you're right. Run. You! After them! Oh! Pixelated He must have blood. known he would die. Yes, but the punishment for refusing an order would have been far less merciful. And on we go. Hmm, should 
to go into a dark cave? I Shall I not go into a dark cave? Back in there. Not unless I can see if it's likely to get bitten off. Don't worry. I doubt any beast would be depraved enough to eat your feet. Nevertheless, it wouldn't be wise to enter. Not until we see what lives in there. Okay. Let's go this way then. This place is too quiet. Did you hear that? First it's too quiet, now it's noises that worry you. It's probably just a couple of larks, nothing to worry about. Strange sounding larks. So I'm no authority on the call of that particular breed. Come on, let's take him. I don't think that would be wise. We'd be slashed to pieces. You would do well to listen to the old man. So they've just taken Show on yourself. numerous enemies. Only a coward would now they've got four. No, it's too much. Forget it. It's a good job they didn't, though. If I remember what correctly, these are the good guys. A coward when my men surround him. Please, we're not here to fight. We need your help. You must forgive my grandson's somewhat impetuous introduction. He is eager and hot-headed, but no fool. And why should we help you? Fuge has taken my wife on his galleon, and I intend to find her, with or without your help. Bold words. Your confidence is admirable, if not a little naive. Come to our camp. We have the same objectives and we'll help you all we can. But without the exact location of the galleon, what can we do? You'll discover that soon enough. As you can see, we're mostly just farmers and traders. Our people whose wives, daughters, and sisters have been ripped away. Our plight has forced us together and compelled us to fight. You're welcome here. Feel free to look around. You implied that you might know how to find the ship? You waste little time. That's good. There's a cave that leads to the great library at No. The library is reputed to have a very powerful telescope. This should show you where the galleon is heading. Won't you be coming with us? No. We'll stay and plan our next attack. We'll have a torch. Did Fuge take your wife? Camille, we were due to be married until they stole her from me. I'll get her back, no matter what. I know you're thinking about Jennifer, but we will find her. Training to fight Fuge on your own? If I have to. How old are you? Old enough to know when my mother needs me. My father and I are the only hope she has. But well, I get a feeling the chapel pair is going to have a funny voice. Okay, that was even funnier than I remembered. And I can't talk to him again. Okay. Tell us, is Haven really as secure as it appears to be? Wait! Although my father can hear you, he can't answer. When Fuge came for my mother, he had my father's tongue ripped out. A warning to others who protested so loudly. I'm sorry. Don't be. He's just biding his time till he can settle the score. I better get back. I haven't finished training. If you value your life, stand back. It's called the Web of Death. It's quite difficult to master, but it's very effective. Incidentally, I'm John, 
And that's my brother Ben. <laughs> Listen, I know my expertise is intimidating, but you should try it. You're good. You learn quickly. Yes, but the true test is executing the move successfully during combat. Well, I'll know that soon enough. Thank you for your help. Okay, I've now acquired the Reb of Death. Now, will the torch let me go into that dark cave? I assume they're running. There we go. Grandad's a little bit slow. Okay, let's have a look. There we go. Okay, we'll try again. Better than you guess it was me. One time, I even made a man faint. He was big too. Why, you little... Oops, better run. Cheeky little scamp. And don't worry, I won't tell anyone you were scared. That, that, dog. Oh. Tell me of your deeds. Thank you, Judas, for that. Yes. And by the way, these mirrored sides we've got. I haven't put those there, that's actually come with the game that GOG's created. It's quite a nice effect, it makes it almost feel like you're playing widescreen, but it's a little bit confusing because I know on some of these pre-rendered backdrops, you either need to scroll t to see more of what's available on the screen, or there may be something clickable like a doorway, or you need to click right on the edge to go to the next screen. So this mirror thing probably isn't that helpful in those situations. but. You know, you make your choices. There may be an option for it, and I haven't seen it. So this is the Great Library of No. Do you know much about this place? The Hi, Kevin. Hope you're well, too. school that taught the magical arts. But since Silver outlawed magic, the school has been closed. Something seems wrong. <laughs> Who, or rather, what were they? They appeared to be some type of imp. They looked devilish. Be wary. But they are small, insignificant against our swords. And if there are a hundred more imps inside? I'll destroy them all. We'd better hurry then. Glad to hear it. Particularly in these interesting times we find ourselves in. I'm not as young as I used to be. I can't force the door open. Step aside. Let me try. Fortunately for you, I must have stressed the lock when I forced the door myself. Yes, Grandfather. I think David's as convinced as I am on that. Somebody? Anybody? Help me! Oh, oh gosh, I ain't got my sword up. There we go. Or my shield. There we go.
Hey, wait there. Thankfully, the imps are quite easy to Sorry, meet. I quite forgot myself. How rude I must seem. Thank you for helping me with those, uh, those creatures. How could I ever repay you? Well, the Duke led us to believe that there is a telescope within the library. If you could help us locate it, we would be very grateful. Yes, yes, of course. There is a telescope in the observatory that's right at the top of the library. Oh, uh, but, but what? To Rona's the Diabolist is there. Well, I'm sure he'd help, but he can't be quite uncivil. And unfortunately, now isn't a good time. I'm afraid he's unwittingly opened a portal to another dimension, allowing those little imps you so efficiently disposed of to enter ours. He must close it before we're completely overrun. If necessary, we could help close the portal. As long as we locate Jennifer and the ship first. Please, just be careful. Got the key, yeah. Oh, different key. Okay. I'll try to be of some use and run for help. a different colour. And he's legged it. Is it just called hell? Have some food. Your adventures have been many. I will record them in my book so that you may know them always. Or until you uninstall the guild. When I think of the number of save games I've lost in every game I've played, it's quite scary. I digress. for a door first. Still. Round and round we go. That suddenly got energy. Right, excuse me. Oh, flipping. <laughs> Wasn't expecting quite to splatter. Ah, uh, catapult, so that's going to get them up there, no doubt. Did he just headbutt me? Right, uh, here we go. Oh, nice shot. If I do say so myself. Your skills leave a lot to be desired. I have a book you should read. Bullseye, your catapult, your friend. 
I defeated your playmates, didn't I? You insult me! Those illiterate barbarians have nothing to do with me! Ugh. Okay. Definitely want the sword back. And the shield. There we go. He's evidently dropped some blocky cheese. Well, they do say a block of cheese, don't they? So you can have a polygonal block of cheese. Very handy, none of these are locked. Tell me of your deeds, adventurer, so that I may record them in my book of legends. Plenty of save spots, which is handy. I'm sure that will be very helpful later in the game, because I'm sure the difficulties is going to increase as we go along. Okay, now we've got flying imps. When I play any game like this with pre-rendered backdrops, I would love to have seen what the original artwork looked like. I often think that's about playing games like Simon the Sorcerer, where the backgrounds are just mind-blowingly good, even in a low resolution. So what were the originals like? And I feel exactly the same way when I'm playing this game or something like Final Fantasy VII. I guess we better go down to start with. I was too busy taking in everything there. I do that so often in games. I'm busy taking in all the backdrops and the surroundings and the details I sometimes forget playing the game. Okay, let's talk to him. Now he's less scared. I can't thank you enough. Thank Take care, Silver and Kevin. Lovely you. to see you again. You're welcome, but please try to calm yourself a little. Yes, yes, of course. I, I'm fine. Uh, sorry, where are my manners? Professor Whittle, philosopher of life and ponderer of all unanswered Professor questions. Professor Whittle. Pleased to meet you. They get everywhere, don't they? Pesky devils. <laughs> but the flying imps are the worst. Especially if they get in close. Much better to get them before they get near, don't you think? You should go. I fear your staying here will only place you in even more danger. But what about you? Will you be all right on your own? No, oh, please. Don't worry about me. You've done more than enough as it is. No, nothing over there then. Not for a badger, Professor Whittle. Well, will it tell us anything then. else? I'll be fine. Out of sight and out of firing range. Guess not. Off we go. I haven't been that way yet. Which 
change of weapon required. Change of weapon required again. Finally, catch up with this yellow imp. Okay, now they're teleporting in. some cheese and some blood. So there we go. Or was it through here? Nope, I was right the first time. Tell you what, Grandad's doing pretty good for his age. Particularly carrying that sword. Back to the Chronicler. Tell me of your deeds. Making me go the long way around. Spare me, please! I'll make it worth your while. I'll take you to my sacred place. Secret hoard. <laughs> Why would you show us your treasure? You spared my life! I'm grateful! Now, please, go quickly! Hurry! It seems very trustworthy, but here we go. We'll have to get past those guards! Of course. We won't have it any other way. Dance, so don't keep still. 
cheese, cheese. Carrots. Gold. Oh, and a chronicler. Your How convenient. Have many. I will record them in my book so that you may know them always. This can't be good. Oh, no. Definitely not good. Food! <coughs> oh, thanks, Grandad. He's just run off. Oh, now he comes back down. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Well, I knew in dangerous times. They ineffect your little punches. Well, you weren't very much help, were you? You seem to have... Yes, yes, whatever. Now quick, what do you want? My time is precious. I'm David, and this is my grandfather. I have neither the time nor the inclination for tedious introductions. Uh, well, we were hoping you'd be able to help us operate the telescope. Then I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. I couldn't help you use the telescope even if I was suitably inclined to do so. But we were led to believe that you would. Ordinarily, yes, but the telescope is powered by an old boiler situated in the caves beneath the library. Unfortunately, this hasn't had power since, uh, since I have misguidedly opened up a portal into a demonic dimension. <laughs> the caves are being used as a lair by a rather formidable demon. The demon acts as a nexus, a link between our two worlds. Kill him, and the connection will break. Only then will the portal close. Could you take us to the caves? I could, but there's something you'll need first. Follow me. Oh, I'm doing a lot of following. Come on, you'll have to be a lot quicker than this. And the quiet bossy as well. Come on, quick, look in the chest. Why? What's in it? Something very special. I think you'll find it rather inspiring. Oh, a new sword. That's not if I do. Use of it. It's relatively foolproof. Why? What is it? It's an ice one. Fortunately, I've not had to use it myself, but if used correctly, it's very powerful. Okay, it's not a sword, it's an ice wand. Are you coming or not? Where to? Back to the entrance hall. Please hurry, I have no patience for time wasters. You have no patience at all. Excuse me, I thought you required help, not cosseting. Hurry, before the teleport closes. Come on then. No, no. I'll leave this magic malarkey to you. I'd feel much better using my own two feet.
Uh-oh. Ominous music time. Where's your grandfather? He decided to walk. He's wary of anything magical. He doesn't trust anything he doesn't understand. I suppose it does take a superior intellect to decipher the complexities of magic. <laughs> Talking of magic, what seals that door? Oh yes, that. I had to use one of my spells to minimize the spreading imp infestation. Hurry. We've wasted too much time already. The caves are this way. So, this is where you've been hiding. So... It's ironic that it's duty that finally compels me to finish what I started all those years ago. What does he mean? This is the second time he's mentioned your past. David, please go! Now is not the time! Listen to your grandfather. We should leave before it's too late. You're not going anywhere. You're charged with treason against your emperor, and the mandatory sentence is death. Guards, kill them. I see you're not quite as decrepit as you look, old man. I'll just have to kill you myself. Oh, this is gonna be sad. He's killed Grandad! Your grandfather was no real challenge. I will take greater time and pleasure in killing you. David, don't let him go to you. Your grandfather's already dead. If you stay and fight, his death means nothing. For Fuge will kill you too. Nice to see you, James. Hope you're doing well. And I'm not talking to myself. That's Maybe it. I am. Run like the coward I know you to be. I can't believe he's dead. He should be at my side. I'm not very good at things that require sympathy and understanding. I've never really had anyone close, but I'm sure he's with you somewhere. Well, Grandfather, if you are, I promise you this. Fuge will die by my sword. Vengeance will be my power. No one ever says, die by my catapult. Have you noticed that? So is by the sword. And I'm very good at going back where I once was. Okay, we're going this way. Or we're going that way. <sighs> Choices. Dear me, the imp infestation is escalating out of control. I should reevaluate my calculation methods. Taronis, I really don't think now is the appropriate time for readjusting multiplications. <laughs> Right, let's get the catapult one first. <laughs> Come on, guys. You're not following so sort of distancing here. You left me to fight the imps alone. You just stood there and watched. Surely you're not suggesting I use my magic for any purpose other than self-defense. Well, in between getting kicked and punched, yes, yes, it did cross my mind. It would be morally corrupt of me to use magic for anything other than safeguarding my own well-being. Didn't you find it even slightly immoral to do nothing while I risk my life defending us? No. Let's go to the Chronicler. For Tell one me last of time. your deeds, adventurer, so that I may record them in my book of legends. Oh, 
Okay, everyone. I've been playing this for an hour. I'm going to save there and call it a night. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for those communicating with me during the session. Always lovely to hear from you guys. And I'll see you hopefully next weekend for a round of the original Doom on MIDI hardware of the time, which would be a Roland Sound Canvas SC55 Mark II. Rolls just off the tongue, doesn't it? Take care, everybody.